It's me, Silly Miss Bully, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, we're gonna talk about seasons. We have four seasons. There is fall, winter, spring, and summer. And then they just repeat again. Fall, winter, spring, and summer. Fall, winter, spring, and summer. Ah, uh, seasons are so fun because each season has different weather and there's different things you can do. Right now it's fall or sometimes called autumn. In fall, you can remember it because you'll see leaves falling down. All the trees start getting ready for winter and they lose their leaves and they fall down. You'll see leaves changing colors and they'll go from green to orange or red. Something that's fun to do is when it's fall, you can go outside and find some leaves. You can find them all sorts of different colors, the yellow ones, the orange ones, or the red ones. You can also rake them up into piles and then jump in them or pick them up and throw them around. Sometimes in the fall, it also gets really windy and the wind starts blowing, blowing, blowing. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. So windy and it gets a little chilly. So when it's fall, you'll probably want to wear a hat and maybe a sweater or a jacket. Let's put some on right now. Here is my hat. Putting hat on. And let's grab a rain jacket because it might rain. Now we're all dressed up. To make sure we stay warm, you want to zip up your jacket. Z zip it up. Now be nice and warm so when the wind comes or the leaves come or the rain falls down on me, I'll still be ready to play outside. As I mentioned, sometimes it rains, so it's also important to wear right shoes like rain boots. Here are my rain boots. One, two, let's put them on. All right, now I'm ready to go play outside and run around with the leaves or jump around in puddles. Jump, jump, jump. Do you wanna jump in puddles with me? Let's do it, get up on your feet and we'll pretend we're jumping in puddles. Ready? Jump, 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 jump! Jump, jump, jump! It's so fun to play in the rain. We've gotta make sure you stay dry, so you wear a nice rain jacket, nice rain boots, and that we can stay nice and dry outside and run around and play in the leaves. When it's winter time, things get even colder. And you might see snowfall. You still wanna make sure you get nice and dressed for the weather. So you wanna put on a hat, a sweater maybe, and a nice warm jacket. Let's put them on. I've got this sweater putting on the sweater, putting my arms through and over my head. Now I'll be nice and warm. Let's grab a hat and a nice and warm jacket. All right, I've got a hat on and let's get a warm winter jacket. All right, now I'll be nice and warm. 
Burr. This jacket also has a hood. All right, now I'm ready to play outside in the winter. In the winter, you might see snow fall, and it gets cold and chilly, so it's important to wear right clothes, like a big winter jacket. Oh, there's so many fun things to do in the winter. If you got snow, you can go sledding. You get on the sled and go riding down. You can also go skiing or snowboarding or ice skating. Another fun thing to do in the winter if you've got snow is to build a snowman. You get the snow, roll it up into a ball, and if you get three of them, one big one, one medium, and one small, you can build a snowman and add two eyes, a carrot for a nose, and a scarf to keep the snowman warm. You can also do snow angels. That's when you lay down in the snow and wave your arms around. And then when you stand up, it look like a snow angel. Another fun game to play in the snow is a snowball fight. You roll the snow up in a ball and then you can go throwing at each other. It's really fun. If you get lots of snow, you can build a snow fort. And then from there, have a snowball fight. Winter is really fun. Although it's cold, there's lots of fun things to do. And you can enjoy things like hot chocolate or hot tea. You can also make s'mores or cookies to keep warm. Plus, in the wintertime, there's lots of holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas and so many more other ones. I love winter because it's nice to get nice and cozy in the cold weather. Plus, all the fun activities. You'll know winter is coming to an end when spring comes and you'll start seeing all the snow melting down and lots of rain usually comes in the spring and you'll see flowers start popping up, popping up beautiful flowers and all the bugs wake up from the winter, start buzzing around. It looks like the whole earth is coming to life. You'll see puddles, more rain. So it's important to put on your jacket or sweater, hat, and your rain boots. Let's put it all on again so we're ready to play. First, let's put on our hat. Next, you can put on a sweater or a jacket or a nice light coat so you can stay warm, but it's not too hot. I'll put on a coat. Here's my coat. All right, now I'll be nice and warm and I'll get my rain boots. One, two, put them on my feet so I'm ready to play outside. In the spring, there's lots of rain, so you can grab an umbrella, that way you don't get wet. And you can jump around in puddles like in fall. Do you want to jump around with me? Let's do it, ready? Jump, 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 jump in puddles, splash, 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 splash in puddles, jump, jump, jump.
another fun thing to do in the springtime is to garden and you can plant new plants and vegetables and fruits so then when it comes summertime they'll be ready and they'll pop up and you go picking picking eating them up yum 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 spring is really fun and at the end of spring it's usually when school is out and it gets ready for the summer so all the kids are able to play and you can go on vacations and spend time with family After spring comes summer. Oh, and you'll know it's summer because it gets really hot. Oh, it's so fun to play in the summer. You can do all of the water activities like jump through the sprinkler or get in the pool or have a water balloon fight. also fly kites or go to the beach and build sand castles. Summer is really fun. You can wear swimsuits and shorts and dresses. You can run around in flip-flops or barefoot because it's nice and warm. There's also fun activities like soccer or summer baseball starts up. Summer's really fun. All seasons are really fun and there's always something to do. Let's go through all the seasons again. Because after summer comes fall. You can remember it because all the leaves fall. After fall, there's winter. That's when the snow comes and it gets chilly, chilly. After winter, there's spring when the flowers pop up and the rain falls down. And then it's summer when we get all the lots of fruits and vegetables and it's hot, 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 but fun to play. There are four seasons, fall, winter, spring, and summer. It's so fun to play outside and it's fun to see different seasons come and go and do different things and experience different weather like when it's rainy or when it's windy or snowy and chilly or hot. I love all the seasons. I'm not sure if I have a favorite one because they're all so different and there's so many different things to do and fun different clothes to wear, like hats and jackets, or swimsuits and dresses and shorts. I love all the different seasons and all the different activities that come along with them. I'd love to know what your favorite season is. Thank you for going over all the different seasons with me and for playing with me. I love playing with you. Silly Miss Lily, and today I've got this alphabet puzzle that I thought we could go through together. We're gonna pick up the letters and see what's hiding under. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start with the letter A. A is for apple. B. Hmm, I wonder what's under B. A basket. Basket starts with the letter B. C. I wonder what's under the letter C. Carrots. Oh, crunch, 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 crunch. Carrots are yummy. Let's see what's under the letter D. A duck. Ducks say quack, 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 quack. Silly ducky. Let's see what's under the letter E. An egg. This is a blue egg. 
I wonder what kind of bird lays a blue egg. Maybe a blue bird? Hmm. Let's see what's under the letter F. Fish! Fish go swim, swim, swim. Swimming like a fish. Let's see what's under the letter G. Beak. Grapes! Hi, grapes! They were hiding under the letter G. Let's see what's under the letter H. A house? Wow! This is the letter I. Let's see what's under. An insect. They go crawl, crawl, crawl. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Let's see what's under the letter J. Jump rope. It's fun to jump on jump rope. Fast, 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 jump, jump, jump. Let's see what's under the letter K. Keys. With the keys, you can open up your home. Let's see what's under the letter L. L. Leaves. Leaves fall down in the fall. Let's see what's under the letter M. 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 Moon. We can see moon come out at night when it's dark. Let's see what's under the letter N. Nest. This nest has some blue eggs. Okay, very interesting. Let's see what's under the letter O. Octopus. They go squiggly, squiggly. Squiggly, squiggly. All right, let's see what's under the letter P. Whoopsies. P. A pear. Mmm, pears are yummy. This is the letter Q. Let's see what's under the letter Q. A quail. Quail is a bird. I wonder if quail lay the blue eggs that can be found in a nest. Let's see what's hiding under the letter R. A ring. We wear rings on our hands. This is the letter S. Let's see what's under the letter S. A sock. This is a great little sock. This is the letter T. Let's see what's under it. A tie. A tie on it. This is the letter U. Let's see what's hiding under the letter U. Umbrella. These umbrella when we're under the rain keeps us protected from the rain so we stay dry. You can also use it in the sun if you want so the sun doesn't get you. And you can have shade. All right, let's see what's under the letter V. A vine. These grapes can grow on this vine. Let's see what's under the letter W. A whale. They're really big. And they spout water. Spout, spout, spout. Let's see what's under the letter X. Ooh, an x-ray. You can get an x-ray when you go to the doctors. Let's see what's under the letter Y. Yarn. You can knit with yarn. We got one letter left and it's the letter Z. Let's see what's under. A zipper. Wow, what a fun puzzle. Look at all the different items we found. Thank you for helping me. Hi friends, I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, I've got these four friends. One, two, three, four. And they've got a minivan. They're gonna take camping. Do you wanna come along with us to this camping trip? All right, let's do it. All right, let's see who we've got. We've got one friend who's wearing a red shirt. 
This friend's got a green shirt. This friend has got a yellow shirt. And this friend has a blue shirt. Wow, they are really cool. And they've got this really awesome minivan. It's got a blue stripe on the bottom and it's yellow on top. Let's look at this minivan closer together. It's got four wheels. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. We've got four wheels and four friends. All right, let's take a peek in here. This is a really fun minivan. Hmm. Well, we gotta open it up. We gotta open it up. First, we gotta get keys. That's how we can open cars or minivans or even your home. Anything with a lock, you need some keys. All right, let's open it up so our friends can get in. Here, we're gonna put the key in and turn, turn and open. You can also open the other side. Peek. Hi, I'm peeking in here. All right, now that it's open, let's load everybody in. Hmm, where should this friend go with his red shirt? Maybe up front? Here go, he'll be the, the driver. Go drive, drive. Hmm, next let's put in this blue friend. He'll go front too. They'll ride together. All right, now let's see. We've got another friend in a yellow shirt and we'll put him inside. You say in and I'll put him in. Oopsies, I dropped him. Oopsies. Here we go, let's put him in. In. Oops, he fell. Come here, friend. All right, now he's in. And on the other side, we'll put in this green friend. Here we go, green friend, in the truck, in the minivan. All right, let's close the doors. Close. Remove the keys. I'm sure they'll have them inside with them. Here we go. And off they go driving. Drive, 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 drive. Drive, drive, drive. They're driving to the camping grounds. Drive, 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 drive. And park. Great job parking. Let's see, they're gonna get out of the minivan. Out, out, and let's open the doors and get our other friends out. Come on out, we're at the camping grounds. Come on out, friends. All right. Now to set up for the camping, they need a tent. This is a blue tent and we'll put it right here. Next, they wanna set up their sleeping bags. We've got one blue one. We'll put it right here. A red one, we'll put it right here. A yellow sleeping bag, we'll set it right there. And a green one, and we'll set it right here. All right, they're all ready for their camping out in their tent with their sleeping bag. But before it's nighttime, they thought maybe they'd go climbing. So let's help them stack some boulders. Move the minivan over, and I've got these fun boulders. Will you help me stack up? Okay, I'll bring them all up. We'll move our friends. Excuse me, friends. All right. Let's put these boulders up, and our friends will go climbing. Hmm. Let's put this big one down first. Next, maybe this one. Let's put it on, say on, on. All right, next let's do this pink one. On, oh, let's do this 
orange one next. On. Oh, and let's do one more. Oopsies. This is a yellow one. You say on and I'll put it on. On. Wow, that's really high. Then our friends came. Boop, 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 boop. They came walking to the boulders. They said, wow, that looks really fun and we want to climb it. So first went the guy in the green shirt. He went up, up, up. Up, up, all the way to the top. Great job climbing. Now let's get down safely. It's gonna go down, 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 down. Wow, great job, green friend. You did so good. Now it went up the yellow friend. Up, 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 up. Good fake job climbing. All right, now let's get down safely. Down, 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 down. Next, we've got our blue friend. Here we go, blue friend. You got it. Don't be scared. Climb on up. Up, 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 up. Up. Great climbing. Now let's go down. Down, down, down. Down, down. Great job. These friends are really good at climbing. Now we've got a friend in the red shirt. Here we go, friend. Go up. You got it. Up, 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 up. Up, all the way up at the top. Great job climbing. Now let's get down. Down, 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 down. Oh, wow, they all did a really good job climbing. Thanks for helping them. We'll move these boulders down and bring our minivan back up. All right, now we've got the minivan back. And the friend said, hey, let's drive around and just look around. So they loaded up. They went in, in, and check this out. There's a little hidden space up here. So the other two friends said, okay, we'll go in and we'll check out the sides while we drive. Went drive, 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 drive. Now there's lots of trees, maybe lots of animals, some bugs. And then as it starts getting dark, they saw lots of pretty stars. And then they came back to their camping site. I said, okay, let's get out. One, two, three, four. Wow, it's been a busy day and it's time to get into our sleeping bags. Let's see. First, I've got this green sleeping bag. Which friend do you think should go into the green sleeping bag? The green one? All right, let's put him in. Here you go, green friend. We'll put you in and lay you down. Next, hmm, who should go in the blue sleeping bag? The blue friend? Come on in, blue friend. In. All right. Next, I've got this red sleeping bag. Who do you think should go in it? Hmm, this is a red friend? All right, come on in, red friend. In their sleeping bag. Wow. And our last one is the yellow sleeping bag for our yellow friend. Here you go, yellow friend. Here you go. Oh, they are all nice and tight in their sleeping bags. We'll give them a nice little kiss. Good night, kiss. Good night, kiss. Good night, kiss. All right, friends, you guys sleep tight. And if you need to go in, if you get cold, you can always go in your tent. And all the friends had really good sleep and really nice dreams about their camping trip and climbing up, 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 and down, 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 down. Then in the morning, they woke up. They woke up and they said, wow, I'm up. And the yellow friend said, I'm up. And the red friend said, I'm up. And the blue friend said, I'm up. And the 
pack their sleeping bags and they put them in the tent. All right, way to pack up, guys. And they put their tent away. Then they got into their minivan. In, in. Let's close the camper part. Let's grab our keys and open up the doors again. In. Oops, and then we open it. Sometimes keys and doors can be tricky. All right, it's open. So the red guy goes in. Oh, he's gonna lay down. And the other blue friend's gonna go in too. All right, buckle up inside. They went driving home. Dry, 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 dry. That was a really fun camping trip. Thank you for going camping with me and my friends in their minivan. with some colors. When the color is green, we're gonna go, go, go. When it's yellow, we're gonna go slow, slow, slow. But when it's red, we're gonna stop. You ready? Green means go, 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 go. Yellow means slow, 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 slow. Red means stop. Let's do that again. Green means go. Go, go, go. Yellow means slow. Slow, slow, slow. Red means stop. Let's do that again. Green means go. Go, go, go. Yellow means slow. Slow, slow, slow. Red means stop. All right, now the colors are just gonna pop up and we're gonna do what they're saying. So let's see what colors first. <gasps> Green! Go, 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 go! <gasps> Yellow! Slow, slow, slow. And stop! Did you stop in the red? Great job following direction. Let's do it again. Let's see what colors next. <gasps> Yellow! Slow. Slow, slow. Red, stop. Did you stop? Good job. Green, go, 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 Wow. Let's do it again. Green means go. Go, go, go. Yellow means slow. Slow, slow, slow. Red means stop. Great job, thanks for playing with me. Hi friends, it's me, Silly Miss Lily, and today I've got some stacking blocks with the alphabet on them, and I thought we could stack them together. Are you excited? <laughs> me too. First, I've got A for alligator eating an apple. A for alligator and apple. On this side is a bear wearing boots. B for bear wearing boots. C for cow eating a cake with candles. And the cow's blowing them out like this. Can you show me how you blow out candles? Let's blow on three together. One, two, three. Great job blowing out your candles. Let's set this block right here. got a dinosaur drumming. Drum, drum, drum. Drum, drum, drum. Drum, drum, drum. 
This dino is drummy. D for dinosaur and D for drummy. E. E is for elephant who cracked an egg. E for elephant and E for egg. F. F for fish. Can you do the F sound? It's kind of silly. Fish with a fan. Pointing this. With a fan. F for fish and fan. Let's put it right here. Let's put it on. All right. Next, we've got G. G for gorilla. <gasps> gorilla. Gorillas are like monkeys, but bigger, and they thumb their chest like this. Thump, 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 thump. Can you thump your chest with me? Thump, 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 like a g g gorilla. And this gorilla is eating grapes. G for gorilla and G for grapes. Next is H for horse. And this horse is wearing a hat. H is for horse who's wearing a hat. H says horse hats and we add an I that makes the E sound for iguana and igloo. And they both start on the letter I. Let's stack it up. Ready? Let's put it on. Next, look at this silly guy. He's juggling jelly beans, and they both start on the letter J. Juggling jelly beans. Do you know how to juggle? Hmm, I'm gonna try some juggling. Let me see. I got three pom poms ready. Whoa, whoa, is that silly? Let me try again. Whoa, that's silly. I gotta work on my juggling skills. This guy looks like he's really good at juggling jelly beans. Next, we got the letter K for kangaroo flying a kite. Letter K makes the K sound for K kangaroo flying a kite. Next, we got the letter L. L makes the L sound. L for lion and L for light. This lion is turning on the light. On the light, L for lion and light. Let's put this block on. Ready? On. Our tower is getting big. Let's see what else we've got next. Next, we've got the letter M. 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 Makes the M sound for. Mouse on a mountain. Hi, little mouse. Mouse says squeak, squeak, squeak. This mouse is on a mountain. They both start with the letter M, M. Next, we got the letter N. We've got a little bird in a nest. And there's some nuts growing on this branch. Nuts 
and nest. Both start with the letter N. Let's see what's the next letter. O. O for ostrich who's eating an orange. They both start with the letter O. Ostrich eating an orange. That's pretty silly. Ready? Let's stack these up. On. We're getting a tall tower. Next, we've got the letter P with a penguin who's carrying a purse. P makes a p, 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 p sound. It's kind of silly. P, 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 p. Penguin p, 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 purse. Next, we've got the letter Q. And there's a picture of a quail. Quail is a bird. It's really quick. Quick. Let's pretend to be a quick quail and we'll run fast. Quick! Quick! So quick! It's a quick quail! Q for a quick quail. Next we got the letter R. A rabbit and a rose. The rabbit is smelling the rose. What a cute rabbit! Let's stack this up. Five. Next, I've got the letter S. S makes the sound for snake. And this snake looks like sipping on some soda. S for snake, sipping soda. And they both start on the letter S. Next, we've got this letter T with a t -t turtle. And the turtle's wearing a tie and is sticking out its tongue. Can you show me your tongue? Mm, tongue, mm, tongue. And turtle and tie all start with the letter T. Next, we got the letter U. U for umbrella. And this umbrella is upside down. Upside down umbrella. Upside down and umbrella both start on the letter U. U. All right, let's stack it up. Let's put it on. Oh, it's getting really tall. All right, next, we've got the letter V for a vase and this walrus is wearing a vest. Vest and vase both start with the letter V. Our next letter is W for walrus who is reaching for a watermelon. Walrus is reaching for a watermelon and he's wearing a little watch. Silly walrus. Walrus starts on the letter W. Let's stack our V and W. On. It's getting really tall. Next letter is the letter X. X you can find at the end of the word box. These are many boxes. This is a one box. The letter X. This yak is holding an x-ray. X-ray starts with the letter X. And we have Y for yak. The letter Y for yak. This is a silly yak who's holding an x-ray. Let's put this on. It's so tall. 
We've got one more, and it's the letter Z for zebra. Hi, zebra. And this zebra is wearing a jacket with a zipper. Zebra with a zipper. And they both start on the letter Z. Let's put it up on top. Ready? Is. Let's go through all the letters one more time. A, B, C, Z, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Wow, we've just gone through the entire alphabet. You did a great job. Thank you for helping me. I love playing with you. Look at this fun board I have. Ooh, spin, spin, spin. Ooh, this one spins too. Cool, there's a bell. Ringing the bell, ringing, ringing. A clock, ooh, ooh. Some circles. That makes a fun noise. A wheel. Ooh, a star goes up, down, up, down. And a zigzaggy all around. A switch. That's fun. This latch. Open. Close. Open. Close. This is a fun circle. Spin, 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 spin. These spin too. Fine. Another latch. Open. Close. Let's see if this spins. How fun! This spins too. And it rings the bell. This is Velcro. Makes a cool sound. Open! There's some shoelace. We can thread through. Go in. In. And pull these open. Off. Off. On. 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 Zip, zip, zip. Let's see. Ooh, we've got keys. We can go open. Another latch. Open. And this one. Open. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Animals. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. All right. There is a horse. Horse Nay. Nay! Can you neigh like a horse? Nay! A cow. Cow say moo. Moo. A piggy. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, 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 oink. Some sheep. Sheep say ba. Ba. A dog. Dog says woof, 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 woof. Or bark, 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 bark. And a kitty. Kitty says, meow, meow. Let's act like different animals together. All right, first let's act like a kitty. Cats have ears, whiskers, 
a nose. And they go, purr, purr. And they say, meow, meow, meow. Can you act like a kitty with me? Meow, meow, meow. So silly. Hmm. Next, let's act like a dog. Dogs also have ears. Sometimes they're pointy or long. Then they have nose. They smell like this. They have really good nose. They can smell things far away. And sometimes, once you've eaten something, they'll be able to smell it on your hands, even when you wash them, because they have really good sense of smell. They go. Sometimes when you see a dog, you can offer them your hand and they'll smell it like this. And say, bark, 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 bark. Or woof, 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 woof. Bark, bark, bark. When they're happy, they put their tongue out like this. And they drink their water like this. Kind of slurping. Sometimes they'll have a bowl of kibbles. You can get a scoop, put the kibbles in and they'll go, and they crunch on them. And then a bowl of water, they'll slurp it like this. That's silly. Next, let's act like a piggy. And they go, they're curly tails. So silly. It's me, Silly Miss Lily, and today we're going to talk about plants and fruits and vegetables and how they grow. Today I've got some avocados. Avocado is a vegetable and it's really yummy. Avocados, when you cut them, I have this one pre cut, they have a seed inside, like many vegetables. All the vegetables that you can eat, most of them have seeds inside, like cucumbers and tomatoes and zucchini and even fruit like watermelon has the seeds inside. Strawberries have their seeds on the outside. For all the fruits and vegetables we eat, they have seeds. And when we plant those seeds, we can grow more of that fruit or vegetable. So with this avocado, it comes with the seed inside. We take the seed out and we eat the yummy avocado. But then what you can do is you can wash the seed and help it germinate. That's gonna help it grow. You can put it in a little water container like this and the little seed will start drinking up the water drink it, drink it, drink it, and that's gonna help it grow. With a little help, it's gonna start getting roots and a stem. Here's one that's already open. I'll show you. All right, here's a closed one, and then this one started opening up, and the little stem started growing. Isn't that neat? As long as they have water, and they're not thirsty, they can keep drinking it, they'll start growing, and then I'll show you how it turns in. Oh, look at this. Now this is the stem, and as it keeps growing, it's gonna get branches, and those branches will get flowers, and with the help of some bees, we'll get fruit and vegetables growing on them. And this, Whoa, you see that? Those are the roots. The roots go in the ground, and that's how the plant is able to absorb different nutrients and minerals from the ground. This is a little seed, it's still in the water, and you can see the roots and the stem. And then when it's ready, you can plant it. You put it in the ground, dig, 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 put it in the ground and then it'll grow. You can do this with different fruits and vegetables so you can start your own little garden. Even if you don't have a backyard, you can do it with a little pot. I'll show you. a little 
pot with soya. So even if you don't have a backyard or a garden, you can do a little one and you can set that on your window. This one's a little bit bigger. All right, so what we're gonna do is dig a hole. With most fruits and vegetables, you can actually plant the seed right in the soil and then water it and they'll grow. But with avocados, it kind of gives them a little help to get them started by having them in a little cup. Now we'll take our seed out. Look at those roots. Say, put me in the soil. I'm ready to eat the nutrients. So we'll put the roots in and we'll cover it with our soil, our dirt. We'll put it on. Good. Put this in. All right, little avocado tree. And then you want to water it. That way you can drink up and then eat up all of the nutrients and drink all of the water. It's better to do it outside so you don't get messy. So we'll take this out to plant the other one. Be a lot simpler to plant outside because you don't have to worry about getting messy. So let's dig a second hole and we'll put our second avocado seed in. Wow! It's got its roots and the stem. This is where the leaves will keep growing into branches until it gets flower and turns into fruit or a vegetable if it's a different plant. All right, look how lovely they look. Now with avocados, it helps them if you start them in the water. But other seeds, they just come in little packets. You can get them at a store. These are little markers you can make. But some seeds come in little packets. They're fun to fish. Fish, fish, fish. And you can get soil. Make a little row. Drop some seeds in. These are going to be some carrots. Put them in. I probably did too many. And then you want to cover them up. And just like the other plants, we want to make sure we water them. When plants are growing, we want to make sure we're gentle with them. We touch them gently. When we water plants or try to move them, we want to make sure we're being gentle. We use gentle hands to touch the plants. We can help them grow with big, big, wonderful plants that give us fruit or vegetables. Some plants are just beautiful plants. They're green, some have flowers. It's fun to plant things and to grow. Some other vegetables we have in my garden, we have this tomato growing, and then these flowers are gonna turn into tomatoes, and this is a cucumber plant that's gonna grow. We also have lots of apple trees, peach trees, and blueberry bushes. I'll show them to you, but they don't have any fruit yet. This is a blueberry bush, and it's gonna have little blueberries pop up on them, and we'll pick, pick, pick them and eat them. And this is a peach tree, and I'll get peaches on them, and then when you can pick them and eat them, and then you can get a peach seed out and plant it like we did with the avocado trees. And then you'll have your own peach tree. for playing with me and for planting with me. It's really fun to plant and it's really neat to see where the food comes from and to see it grow and to take care of it. I really love having a tomato plant because you can plant it, watch it grow, take care of it and give it water. And then in just a couple of months, it'll give you tomatoes and you can pick, 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 pick them and eat them. It's a great and fun activity to do with your grown up. And you have your own little plant to take care of. Next time you eat a fruit or vegetable, you can see if you can make it grow. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure you search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye.